Welcome back, everybody. So now we've got gates that only open temporarily. So you have to get across them quick. Or you just need to pick a location and stay there. Okay. Ah, oh, we're getting close to the end. Oh, no! The way they bring in these, uh, combos of old concepts. You don't expect it, and then it just totally screws with you. That stage is pretty easy now. Second stage is kind of tough. There we go. Shit. That gate just opens too quickly. Alright. Alright. Boss time! Interesting, this is their concept of a boss for this segment. That was pretty easy. Okay. Down to the last four segments of the game. seems like kind of a break from the last couple of really hectic ones. Interesting that these can wrap around, though. I wonder if that's the new concept. They're going to wrap around the screen from all directions. Uh. Oh no, they're not wrapping around from all directions, just the top and bottom.
Come on, come on, come on. Darn it, I got closed in. The way they bounce while they chase you makes it really difficult to think too far ahead in terms of your movement. Because they can really surprise you, much like um, a baseball player can perfectly line up a ball to field, but then it takes a strange carom off the wall that they weren't expecting, or it bounces up and misses their glove. I couldn't sneak under it. That was my whole plan. Whew. That got really close. Try this boss again, come on. Oh, I hit the wall! That's embarrassing. My movement ability is going to be key here. Cannot get pinned in. Have to constantly be snaking. Have to be unpredictable. Shit. I had the right idea, though. But unfortunately, I... Ended up getting predictable. definitely the hardest batch of levels that I've played so far. And I thought it wouldn't be. I was like, oh, this is a break. They're just giving me regular enemies. Nope. That wrapping around changes everything.
course I have to move out of there. I oh, got me. It's not good to lose immediately after a level starts. Can't believe I'm still on this segment. Collision detection is a little odd. Like, I feel like my hitbox is not... It's a little larger than it should be, it feels like. Or maybe I'm just used to bullet hell games. The music is like, oh, we have to loop around now. Now it's not as spooky because we have to loop around because he's taken way too long on this segment. This person they've taken in eternity. And Fruity Loop Studio does not support in eternity. Or Cubase. What is wrong with me? I've got to beat this game. In this episode, I've got to beat it in this episode, come on. Alright, I'm gonna do this patiently. Alright. Like, I'm second guessing myself too often now. Instead of just relying on pure instinct, like Peyton Manning.
Alright, come on. Come on. Come at me. Stick and move, stick and move! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. We are finally through that segment. Whoa. It's like an After Effects template. Oh, down to the last 10 levels. Shit. So the only way to really be safe is to be cradled inside of that. Okay. The music tries to keep you from being patient because it's so unsettling. Uh. Alright. Try and be patient here. It's not my s strength. Not in gaming. Patience. Just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Alright. And this stage is relatively easy. I just need to do most of my business on the right side of the screen. Alright, here we go. Oh, I ran right into him! I'm glad these levels are only like five seconds long. Or I lose my mind. They're very like a warrior wear. that again.
there. Okay, eight levels left. Ooh, interesting. Sort of a sweep, sweep the legs. I like it. It's tricky. Oh, I have to defeat them both at the same time. That's cool. But again, it's one of those things you have to react really quickly. Oh, randomized level would be amazing. Not randomized like a roguelike. I mean, if they picked levels existing levels that were pre-designed at random, so you, you'd you go from level 32 to level 8 or whatever. That would be rad. Because that would really test your reflexes. Boss time. It's almost like a train. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Alright, here we go, the last four levels. Oh shit. Now we got some snakes. Snakes on a 2D plane? I'm sorry. Now we're just kind of getting, like, straight-up boss encounters. Okay, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna be patient. Pretty much have to be. I'm gonna work on this side now. Full of stars. Man, now it's a screensaver. It's like Dazzle from the old days of, uh, you ever go into a Staples or a Circuit City in the 90s and see a kaleidoscope screensaver on PCs? That was Dazzle. References people will only get if they're in their 30s. And after all that dissonant music, now the music is kind of nice. So it's all the levels that we've played are now sprouting out, forming a uh, Katamari Damacy uh, rainbow. we go. Beings of pure energy. Roll credits. Oh, 
Oh, there's no credits. I was expecting credits. Well, um... Oh, interesting. They expect you to play the last eight levels. Oh, no, wait. These are, these are new. I guess. Let me see. Are these remix stages? Oh shit. Oh, it is remixed! Awesome! That's exactly what I was hoping they would give out. So when you beat the game, you unlock random mode. That's pretty cool. Alright, so that's it. Um, and I think if you beat the 8 level variant, you'll get the 16 level variant, the 64 level variant? 32? I don't know. Um... I'm not sure. Maybe the maybe the two on the bottom right are like the hardcore mode where like you have no checkpoints or something. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching Thoth. I really liked it. Really cool. It was in the Humble Monthly. Um, I have a feeling it will be in a lot of indie bundles because uh, it's an indie game and it probably... I think 140, the developer's previous game, has been in bundles before. So keep an eye out for it. Thanks for watching.